Hey guys, it's your boy Football Traveller. I want to start a new series. So this series is going to be about where I pick three games from each division that in my opinion, if you live near, that you should go watch. And one game that you should definitely avoid. This is the first, this is the first episode of it. Let me know how it goes. Hey guys, in this series, I will explain like why I recommend you should go to this game. And I will tell you the previous score how the form is and what my prediction will be for this game so now we're going to start with the championship so these games this game week is from the 14th of february and 15th of february so this next picture what you're going to see is all the fixtures on that day See, the first game is Norwich versus Hull, which is on Tuesday night. The kickoff is at 7.45. So Norwich, the home team, they are 10th in the league, four points up outside the playoffs. They've been struggling this year. So they were actually my favourites to win the league. Yeah, they're, they're playing Hull City, who are 11th in the league. There's literally just a point between them. So that should be a game, good game. The first game... Finished 3-2 to Hull City, uh, in where Oscar Estepinian, the Hull City striker, scored a hat-trick. And which it was a very fun game. However, I am a Hull fan, so of course I'm going to say that. However, 3-2, five goals. Why would you not like a, a five-goal game? Norwich has actually been my biggest disappointment of the year. They've actually lost two games in a row. And in the last five games, they've won two, lost two, and drawn one. But you think that is bad, guys? In the last five home games, they have lost four games and drawn one and only scored two goals in them. Their last win at home was 29th of October, guys. So that is not looking good for them. However, Hull, who are sitting a point behind them in 11th, they have won, they have won two, drawn two and lost one and scored five goals in their last game. In the last five games. However, three of them did come against QPR. I was at that game. It was a good game. And the last five away games, they've drawn two, lost one, and won two, and scored six goals. So yeah, I think it's going to be a decent game. My, like, Hull was not in the, rele Hull was in the relegation zone. So now we're looking in the playoffs. I don't think it will happen. Um, I think Norwich will come back into the season later on. So my score prediction for this game is 2-0 to Norwich. And yeah, let's go to the next game, guys. Which is Burnley versus Watford. So Burnley are top of the league, kind of running away with it right now. Probably gonna make, gonna win the league and get promoted. They are playing fun football. Watford are sixth in the league right now, guys. They are, the gap is twenty two points behind them. However, Watford need to win because they are quite close. And the last game between them ended one nil to Watford, guys. So don't think oh Burnley is gonna win this game because it might be a close game. Yeah, guys. guys Burnley are dominating the championship. They have won eleven. 10 games in a row and scored 61 goals in the league, which is 10 higher than the one below them, which is Sheffield United, which I will speak to you about in the later part of the video. They've scored 11 goals in the last five games and 12 goals in the last five home games. So will it be goals? Yes, it will be. However, Watford haven't been doing so well. They've had three draws, one win, one loss in the last five games scoring six goals and away they've only scored five goals with two draws two wins and a loss however this is am i going to sound crazy do i need to be controversial yes but however my score prediction for this game is 3-1 to watford and you're like how you just said all the stats that burnley should be the better team yes there should be but however burnley are kind of running away with the league so they kind of have the gap already, so we're like they can kind of take it easy. But Watford need the results; they need the good form, 
and Watford are fighting for the playoffs. So that's why I'm saying Watford 3, Burnley 1. But yeah, that should be one of... They're probably one of the best games of the week if this score happens. However, this is not my game of the week. Now, we're moving on to the third and final championship game that I would recommend you to go to, guys. And my third game is, as you saw, it's Sheffield United versus Middlesbrough. Second versus third in the league. Uh, it's a 10-point gap. However, the last game, if you wanted goals, you could see goals. And it was 2-2 with an interesting game. Sheffield guys. Wednesday, in the last five games, have won three, drawn two, and scored eight goals. The last five home games, they've won every single one of them. And scored 11 goals. Middlesbrough. In the last five games, they've won four and lost one. Scoring eight goals. And at their last away games, they've scored... They've won three, lost two and scored nine goals. So Middlesbrough really need a win to close down the gap. Because you don't... You never want to be in the playoffs. You want to be above the... Rele like, playoffs is a wild thing, guys. As a whole City fan... And if you ever like, if you support like a Championship League One, League Two team, you will understand what we mean by that. And so, yeah, my score prediction, do you know what? Two all again, guys. I feel like it's going to be a fun game, end to end game. I feel like Middlesbrough will have the lead 2 1, but then Sheffield United will score a goal to equal, equalize to make it 2 all near the, in the last 10 minutes. If that happens, guys, you're welcome that I've suggested you to this game. And yes, guys, this is the game you should actually avoid. And it's West Bromwich versus Blackburn, which is 9th versus 8th. And you're like, why would you avoid that game? And so the reason is, West Brom, in the last five games, they've won two, drawn three, and scored five goals. However, the problem is, at home, last six games, they've had s s clean sheets. The last time they conceded a goal was against Sheffield United. However, yes, they have scored nine goals at home. However, it's mostly been like one or two nil games, guys. So, And then there's Blackburn, who are eighth in the league. And you're like, oh, they're a good team. They've been near the playoffs. I've seen them play. And yeah, they're not a good team. Like, they're very boring, guys. Like, they're top... They're a top team with a minus four goal difference. So if they win, they win by a goal. If they lose, they lose. So you're kind of hoping this game to be good because of West Brom to win, not because of Blackburn to play well. Yeah, in the last they've in the last five games, they've won one, drawn one, lost three goals, only scored lost three, sorry, and of they only scored three goals in that. And in the last five games, they've won one, drawn two two and lost two away and it's got five goals so my prediction for this game is nil nil so a boring game so yeah these were my championship predictions let's now move on to the league one guys Hey guys, so yeah, now let's get into League One. League One was actually quite hard to predict because there's a lot of, like, last Saturday, League One was crazy. Like, they had Wickham versus Derby, who are literally just near the playoffs. Bolton versus Peterborough, who were near the playoffs. And Ipswich versus Sheffield Wednesday, who were, like, first versus third. Last week, I would have, ooh, it was good. However, this week, there are some weird ones like you would be like why but there could be upsets basically that's the reason they're in there because yeah this week league one wasn't the best of like very close games however this is my first one so you'll see it on the screen now yes guys it's accrington stanley who are they against wickham wanderers the accrington stanley are 22nd in the league and wickham are seventh in the league the last game was 1-0 to Wickham, and Wickham were not that good then. 
So the reason why I picked this game is because Ak both teams have got things to play for. Actrins and Stanley, as I said, they're 22nd. They're two points from safety, so they need a win. Like, every point matters for them. But same with Wickham. Wickham are three points, three points outside of the playoffs, so they need a win as well. However, Actrins and Stanley, in the last five games, they've won one, drawn two, and lost two. And scored four goals. And in the last home games, they've won two, drawn one, and lost two. And again, scored four goals. Wickham Wanderers are a team in form right now. Like, as I said, they were not doing well. Now they're doing well. So, in their last five games, they've won four, only lost one, and scored 11 goals in them. And in the last away games, they've won three, lost one, and drawn one. And they've scored eight goals. My prediction is a 3-1 Wickham win for this game, guys. Now let's go to the next game. So yeah, guys, my next game is Bolton versus Milton Kingdons. Shout out to Fogden. He's one of the reasons why I've actually started doing this. Because, yeah, I look up to him. Also, away there is Ellis and Fusion Josh. If you know them, I'll subscribe to all of them. So yes, Bolton versus Dons. Bolton are in fourth place, six points from automatic places. They've been on a form recently. They've won four games in a row. They've, and they've only lost one and they've scored 10 goals. So they score like two goals a game right now, guys. And at, at home, they've not been that fun to watch. But still, three wins, two draws, haven't lost. So what you can't complain as a Bolton fan going to Bolton ground. And they've but they've only scored five points, five goals. However, Milton Keynes Dons are twentieth in the league, one point from safe above safety. And they've actually been in a decent form in the last game. They've won two, drawn one on last two. However, away at home, they've not been so good. They have lost two in a row, but they have won the other three have been a win in a row, and they've scored seven goals away from home. Last time they played, Bolton won two nil. And my prediction for this game is 2-1 to Bolton. So yeah guys, as you see, my next game is Cambridge versus Cheltenham. And this is a 5C relegation scrap, basically. Yes, so Cambridge, 23rd, point, 23rd in the league. Three points from safety. Cheltenham, 19th in the league. Uh, two points above the relegation zone. Four points only between these teams. The last encounter they finished was 2-1 to Cheltenham. However, so this way it gets interesting, guys. Cambridge have not been playing well. The last five games, they've drawn two, lost three. They've actually not won a home last... The last win was seven games ago. They've scored three and conceded 10 goals in the last five games. And their home record was the win, where they've got one win, two draws, and two losses, and scored four goals, guys. So they're not doing well. However, this is where Cheltenham come in. And in their last five games, they've drawn two, lost three. So they haven't won as well in a while. They've only scored four goals, and they've... Not scored a goal in their last three games, guys. And in the last home five home games, they've won one and lost four and scored five goals. So you're like, oh, why are you breaking this game? However, this is a relegation scrap. Both these teams need a win, so they will be going for it. Like Cheltenham, basically, if they win, they go seven points above the play above the relegation, and Cambridge will win. They go just above it, like just they just get out of it. So my prediction for this game is a two all score, guys. Now let's move on to our League One game that you should probably avoid, and I will explain why, guys. And yes, guys, it's Forest Green versus Charlton. Well, what do you mean to say about the game? Forest Green are twenty four. In the league, seven points from safety. Only in the last five games, they've drawn one, lost four, only scored three goals. 
and in at home, they've won one and lost four in a row, guys, only scoring four goals. Literally, there's nothing good about the team to say. The only good thing is I do like their kits. It's one of my favorite kids, guys. So the only re I kind of hope they get relegated. So I want to see like Forest Green. Like when I go to the game, I want to like see good atmosphere, guys. So I'll go to them next year when they're in League Two, hopefully, and get the kids because yeah, it's one of my favorite kids. And then Charlton, guys, they're twelfth and they're literally no man's land. They're nine points above the relegation and thirteen points outside the playoffs. If you look at the league, there's like eight, nine teams that are good in the league. And then the rest are like average and not informed. So it's, you have 17 more games to go and you have nothing to play for. So I think, yeah, if it's a, it's going to be a late push if they do it, like they need to go on like a massive winning streak, which in my opinion, I'm sorry, Charlton, I don't think he will do it. If you do, what do I know about League One football? Like they have been, can you see this happening? Yes, because in the last five games, They've won three, but they've lost two again. They lost. However, they're and they've scored eight goals. However, their interesting fact has been that the last three games have all ended one two or two one to the away team. So what's my prediction for this game today? It's two one to Charlton. Make it four and zero, Charlton. Now, guys, let's move into League Two. You can see all the fixtures. And you will see the and this is where the game I will hopefully be going tomorrow, and guess if you can figure out that game. So yes, guys, the first game I'm going to speak about is Bradford versus Tramier. And yes, this will be the game I'm going to. That hint, that's why the Bradford shirt. So yes, as you can see, I've been to a Bradford game already. If you watched my previous video. Why am I going again? Because I live in York. And trains are awful. Like, I don't drive at the moment, guys. When I drive, I will be going to more different games. But at the moment, train is my only option. And the trains, I will literally tell you guys. My options was Bradford versus Tramere. Leighton Orient versus Rochdale in London, QPR Sunderland in London, or Donny Doncaster versus Barrow. And the reason why I picked the Bradford game is because London costs a lot of money right now to go to. But and Bradford, I actually have an Instagram page which I will put in somewhere. You should be on my page if you see my Instagram page. And the first ever game, I well, technically second because I started this journey. My post and through York, but my first ever like proper away days was Bradford. So why not make my first vlog as a Bradford game? So that's the reason why I am going to the Bradford game this week tomorrow. And this game should be a banger. This was almost my game of the week, like the game of the like thingy, the round. So the last game ended 2-1 to Bradford. Bradford are eighth place outside just outside the playoffs on goal difference, guys. Literally just goal difference. So it's a tight league. However, they have been struggling recently. In the last five games, they've won one, drawn three, and lost one. Scored eight goals though. So they're a fun team to watch. And in the last home games, they've won three and lost two and scored seven goals. And this, Tramir, are 11th in the league. They're five points from the playoffs. And in the last games, they've scored two, they've won two, lost one, and drawn two. Six goals scored. And then the last away games, they've won one, lost four, and scored five goals. So my prediction for this game is 3-1 Bradford. And yeah, hopefully, guys, you will see a vlog about this game Wednesday. Wednesday. Tuesday night, probably not Wednesday, definitely like around 4, 5, 6 o'clock. But yeah, stay tuned to see the vlog, guys, and subscribe. 
to get and push the notification button so you're the first person to watch this yeah you yeah you you'll be the first person to watch this if you press all that So guys, this is my game of the week, of the day, which is Carlisle versus Mansfield. So, why is it interesting? Carlisle, third in the league, one point above automatics. Mansfield, sixth in the league, six points from automatics, one point above the playoffs. However, Carlisle, three wins, in a, three wins one draw, one loss, scored nine goals. And at home, they've won four, lost one, scoring 11 goals. Yes, so this is interesting. Mansfield, last five games, they've won two, drawn two, and lost one, scoring 10 goals. So will this be goals galore? Yes, I hope so. However, there is a but. Carlisle versus Mansfield, the first time, ended nil-nil. My prediction for this game is two all, guys. So guys, and this game is Doncaster versus Borough. Yes, this was the other game I could have gone to, but the reason I didn't, because I've been to Doncaster already, but I did go see them in the cup and they played just awful and I don't want to see them. Plus, there's another part where I don't want to see them because... So, Doncaster, they're ninth in the league, three points below the playoffs. So as you can see, the playoffs race in League 2 is crazy. If you're one of the fans in it, damn, I feel... I salute you guys. So last game, last five games, Doncaster have won two in a row and lost three in a row, scoring five goals. So they're an up and down team. Either they do well and they go on form or they just play bad. So they're a weird team, guys. And in the last five home games, they've won three and lost two. So again, what's happening? Like, just do something. Like, either be good or be bad. You know what I mean, guys? Then, Borough, the away team. They're 12th in the league. Four points outside the playoffs. They are my biggest surprise of the year, guys. Because on my YouTube, on my Instagram, I made a post about how, who I think is going to be the predictions of the league. And... Yeah, and I did it. Literally, I tagged in the teams that I think will get promoted and the teams that will get relegated. And, yeah, Borough official account replied to my post saying it's a bit mean. And, however, if they're watching, yes, um, I apologise, it was mean. Uh, I don't mean you as a bad team. I just knew, like, I read into you guys and I saw that you don't have a budget, a big budget. Like, when I saw you play last year against Salford, you were actually a good team. So, yeah. And now they are 17 points above the relegation zone. So, who was wrong? Me. Good job, Barrow. But, yeah, if Barrow, if you want to calibrate, please let me know. I will appreciate this. Like, yeah. It will mean a lot. Uh, but, yeah, Barrow, so that, but Barrow is kind of deep down because they've noticed my page already. So, they've commented on it. And it was still quite weird, like... I remember the day happened and I was like, I went crazy that day. Like, I was like, so happy. Like, I messaged all my mates and I was like, yes, I'm going up in the world. So, yeah. Borrow, shout out to Borrow for their, whoever runs their Instagram page. Thank you for seeing the post. I appreciate it. It meant a lot. But, however, they've been doing well. However, they've been out of form now, guys. They're two draws, three losses, only scored two goals in, them get, in the last five games. And in the last five away games, they've won one, drawn three, lost one, and scored six goals. My prediction for this game is 2-0 to Doncaster. So yeah, guys, and the game that you should avoid, in my opinion, is Colchester versus Walsall. The reason behind you should avoid this game is because yes okay it's fifth 16th versus 15th and they're quite close in the league however that's about it the points are five points between them guys 
So Walsall 15th and Colchester 16th. There's five points between them. They're both quite, pretty safe. Like Colchester are 10 points above the relegation. However, Walsall, yes, maybe they have a chance, but with six points above the playoffs, being outside the playoffs. However, in my opinion, there's a lot better teams in the league that will make the playoffs. Like, in my opinion, the, like even Borrow being, sorry guys, being 12th, I think they're not going to make it. Like, I think the top 10 uh, got a decent chance of making it. But then outside of that, I don't really see anyone else. And yeah, Colchester, they've won two, drawn two, lost one. Scored five goals though. So quite play quite boring football. And then they lost home games. They've won two again, lost one and drawn two. And I've only scored four goals. So as you can see, not a fun team to watch. Uh, Walsall have won one, drawn two, three and lost one. So they don't get many wins as well. So I think they're just an average. They're both average League One teams. So. And then. League Two, sorry, teams, not League One. And then there's Walsall. At, so my prediction for this game is nil-nil, guys. So yeah, hopefully this video. So yeah, guys, hopefully this video will be out later on today. On which today I'm filming it to so it's Monday, so you can buy the tickets for the games. There should be some get tickets available. However, and then the next part, I'll try to film it tomorrow and be out for, by Wednesday latest, because I understand like when I'm making this video, it's quite hard because you, it's hard to get tickets, guys. Like in last minute, so hopefully it will be with next different. Like I want to make this series like. To come out on a Sunday or Monday, so you have like four days to buy the tickets, not like just one day or like rush it. But because of it being a midweek fixtures, very hard of doing it. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.